Right guys, so now we're going to take you through the high bar back squat. I'll be dem demoing, he'll be talking. Okay, so first of all, starting from the floor, we're going to be thinking about our feet being, being nice and tight and gripping the floor. Working our way up, knees are going to be going outwards, going into the core section, belly nice and, um, core nice and tight, belly button in, keeping everything squeezed tight in the core section, working upwards. So you've got high bar squat and low bar squat. So depending on your torso length, femur length, will depend on where you're going to put the bar and depending on which squat you actually want to do and depending on where you want to target, there's lots of reasons. So we're not going to go into that now. What we're going to just talk about is uh, for you doing the high bar squat. So you've got it slightly raised, just, just below our traps. Low bar would be here. So you want to go through the squat. So she's thinking knees out. She's thinking feet are nice and tight on the floor. Core's tight all the way down. You see her head's nice and neutral, so her head's not far back, it's not far forward, it's nice and neutral. And then don't be going too low. So you see the way the bottom of the movement, her back's rounded. So that's not good for the spine. If you think about the spine being in this position, and if she's rounded, it's, pot it's potential to cause injury. So we want to keep nice and tight and not, and not have this happen. So we want the spine to be straight, okay? So that's what she's doing there. That's pretty much it. So that's the back squat. Any issues, comment below, let us know. Thanks guys.